The conversion of Saul. A key person involved in the death of Stephen was a young man called Saul. Those stoning Stephen took off their coats and left them at the feet of Saul. After the death of Stephen, Christians in Jerusalem suffered so much that many left to find new places to live. Some traveled north to the city of Damascus. Saul went to the high priest and asked for papers giving him permission to go to Damascus and arrest any belonging to the way as Christians were known. The papers were handed to Saul, and he set off to Damascus, making murderous threats about those who believed Jesus was the way to God. As he got near to the city, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him and he fell to the ground. He heard a voice, Saul. Saul. Why do you persecute me? Who are you Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, the voice replied. Now get up and go into the city, you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound but did not see anyone. Saul got up, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. They led Saul by the hand into Damascus. For three days he was blind, he did not eat or drink anything. In Damascus there lived a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision, Ananias. Yes, Lord, he answered. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man named Saul. He is praying. In a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, this man has harmed your holy people in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, go. I have chosen Saul to proclaim my name not only to Jews, but Gentiles also known as non-Jews and their kings. I will show him how much he must suffer for me. Ananias went to the house and placed his hands on Saul. Brother Saul, Ananias said. Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see. Saul got up and was baptized, after taking some food, he regained his strength. Saul spent several days with the disciples in Damascus, the very people he had come to arrest. Saul began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. Those listening were astonished and asked, isn't he the same man who caused so much trouble for Christians in Jerusalem and came here to arrest them? Saul powerfully explained to them that Jesus is the Messiah. A few days later some Jews who were against Jesus plotted to kill Saul. They watched the city gates hoping to kill him. But Saul learned of their plans. One night Saul's followers took him and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall so he could escape. Saul returned to Jerusalem, where he attempted to join the disciples. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. However, Barnabas explained that Saul was now a Christian, and how he had preached in Damascus that Jesus is the Son of God. So the apostles welcomed Saul, who started speaking boldly about Jesus in Jerusalem. However, when he started telling Jews who had adopted the Greek language and culture about Jesus they tried to kill him. To protect Saul the believers took him to the port of Caesarea and sent him back to his home city of Tarsus. Although, Saul was his Jewish name as a Roman citizen, he also had the Latin name of Paul. The church in Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and encouraged by the Holy Spirit, and grew in numbers. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.